Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. All right, it's time. Here's our storm system. Moderate to heavy snow up in uh, at Solitude in Big Cottonwood Canyon of Utah. Look at that snow coming down. And it's going to snow like this for the next 36 hours. I'm expecting like 10, 12, 14 inches in Little and Big Cottonwood Canyon um, through tomorrow. So we're just getting started up there. Here's radar. You can see the blue over the Wasatch. Also snow rolling over the top of the Tetons. Snow up in Idaho. Snow back in the Sierra. Snow in Washington. And also snow in Oregon. So that's our storm. And then it will start to pivot down into Colorado where it's going to spin up to a much stronger storm system for 313, 314, early 315. All right, here's what I'm seeing this morning. Bullet points. So the Colorado low is still on the board. It's going to be a major storm system. If anything, the numbers have now trended back up in this morning's update from what I talked about yesterday afternoon. Primary, uh, the primary days for this are going to be 313 and 314, although it looks like the snow in Colorado is probably going to trickle into 315 as well. The Tetons and the Wasatch have pretty much identical timing. Moderate to heavy snow accumulations 312, 313. New Mexico, light snow accumulation 313, moderate to heavy 314, 15, and 16. In the northeast, rain, snow, 315, light accumulations of snow on 317. All right, let me take you back. I want to show you water vapor satellite imagery this morning. So on this, um, your moisture aloft being transported is in the whites, the blues, and the greens. And here's our major storm system moving in. And that's what's pushing this initial wave of snow through the Wasatch and the Tetons. And eventually, this low is going to come down here and spin up into a panhandle storm, and that's what's going to deliver that maximum type orographic and lift across the Continental Divide and foothills of Colorado. All right, here's the forecast jet pattern. So that's by the end of business today. You can see the trough developing, moving into Utah, Wyoming, and eventually Colorado right there. That's a big day, 313, sizable trough sitting over that area, northern New Mexico. But then watch what happens. The low starts to get cut off, and this is what was happening in the last couple of updates too, but this low retrogrades back to the west through Arizona, southern Utah, Las Vegas, and it just sits there. It looked like yesterday it was going to get picked up by the flow, but not this morning. It just sits there for days on end, spinning little pieces of moisture and snow back through the four corners. There's a high pressure ridge that sets up over parts of the Pacific Northwest in BC, 316, 17, 18, and that's probably the extent of it. It'll be pretty dry during that period. But then by 319, 2021, 20, you can see what happens here. The jet starts to rebuild and comes to the south and dives through BC and into the northern tier in the Pacific Northwest. So active weather would be returning during that time period. Forecast radar and satellite by 5.30 this afternoon. Here's our storm system. There it is, building into Colorado by tomorrow morning. Denver gets rain initially, 3.13 in the afternoon and evening hours. Um, heavy snow begins to develop on the continental divide of Colorado. There we are by the morning of 3.14. It likely changes over to snow in Denver and across the Front Range. Heavy snow, continental divide, southern Colorado, northern New Mexico. It's still there, 3.14 in the afternoon uh, with snow in Denver. And it's probably still there the morning of 3.15. You can see that in the forecast. It's all blue at that point uh, with moderate to heavy snow. Then it breaks by the afternoon. But look what happens to the low. Again, it just retrogrades and it sits for days on end, throwing pieces of moisture back through Utah and even Colorado, Arizona, and also New Mexico through like 320. Here comes that next area of low pressure and that, uh, that buckling jet, 320, 321 into the Pacific Northwest. Okay, let's talk latest numbers. Here my grand totals by late 321. Obviously, what jumps off the page are the Colorado totals. They have trended back up, and we're looking at one to two feet of accumulation for most places. The biggest numbers are right on top of the Continental Divide and in southern Colorado, uh, where we're going to get the best lift in those areas. Um, so the numbers in uh, the Tetons, probably going to see 8 to 10 over the next 36 to 48 hours anywhere from 7 to 14 in the Wasatch over the next 36 to 48 hours. And then there's a little bit on top of that once the pattern comes back down around 320 and 321. Okay, let's go into this map. I've been showing you the last, showing this the last couple of days. So there's Denver down below. You're looking back to the west, northwest, through the foothills of Colorado, the Front Ridge foothills, and then the Continental Divide. Um, you can see the numbers. We're back into that one to two foot category or more for some places. A pretty rich upslope flow here, or graphically speaking, 
Um, so it'll be interesting. Again, the, the issue down lower in 5280 in Denver is going to be the rain initially and then rain, snow, and then changing over to snow. But the temperatures are marginal for the Denver metro area. You're going to see some accumulation, but it's going to be a very wet, heavy snow. And then past the divide, down into Summit County and beyond, we're probably looking at about a foot uh, of accumulation of spillover. All right, let's look at it by time period. So today through tomorrow, next 48 hours, there it is, about 8 to 10 in the Tetons, 6 to 14 in the Wasatch. You can see the numbers starting to pile up, especially on 313 in Colorado. Next period is 3, um, 314 through 316. So uh, some additional moderate to heavy accumulations in Colorado, anywhere in purple is over a foot. This is when the low continues to spin on 314, and some of that snow lasts into early 315. And look at the numbers through northern New Mexico. We're talking about a foot during this time period alone. And as it retrogrades back, snow for southern Utah and also Arizona. Final time period, 317 through 321. Some additional leftover snowfall uh, from that spinning area of low pressure that sits there for days in Colorado, New Mexico, southern Utah, and Arizona. And then the snow you see in the northern tier in B.C. Pacific Northwest comes in around 320 and 321. Okay, into the northeast we go. Only light accumulations at this point. Again, some rain, snow, and then potentially um, some light snow accumulation after that. But there's just not a lot here to write home about. Okay, we'll end on the grand total map for this morning's update. Again, the big numbers in Colorado. We'll continue to watch that area of low pressure, the track of it, the intensity. Um, and exactly what type of wind we're looking at with this thing coming up. Uh, I'll keep it updated. Uh, we'll do another update later today. Um, always appreciate you guys tuning in here, and take care. Have a great day.